Module 5, Segment 3 Additional Functions Within the Sales Order The objectives of this training session are to print a sales order acknowledgement, work with stock reservations, and print a pick ticket. Please note that this segment assumes you have completed Modules 1, 2, and 3, and Module 5, Segments 1 and or 2. We will begin by locating and opening the sales order you previously created. Click the Sales Order icon arrow and select Browse. The Find for Browsing Sales Orders window opens. To locate the existing sales order, type in the sales order number and select OK. The Browsing Sales Orders window opens, listing all sales orders that match the number you typed. Double-click anywhere on the line to open the sales order. The Sales Order window opens. First, we'll create a sales order acknowledgement. You may want to send this form to your customer to verify your receipt of their order. Select the Global Action button. The Global Options window opens. Select Print Acknowledgement. The SO Acknowledgement Settings window opens. Let's take a moment to familiarize ourselves with some of the options available here. As with all other print settings windows in Quantum, select Edit to modify. We'll leave the Number of Copies field set to 1. However, you could either type in a different number or use the arrow keys to generate multiple copies of the Sales Order Acknowledgement. To look at a print preview of the acknowledgement before sending it to the printer, use your mouse to select Preview from the drop-down box in the Destination field. In the Document field, use your mouse to select STD-SO Acknowledgement from the drop-down box. The checkboxes in the Printing Options section may be set to your preference. Text typed into the field labeled Document Note will appear on the acknowledgement. Move your cursor into this field and type Thank you for your order. When finished with the print settings, select OK. To generate the sales order acknowledgement, select Print. A print preview window opens containing the acknowledgement. When you have finished previewing the acknowledgement, you may print it. Select Printer from the drop-down menu at the top left of the preview window and click the printer icon. When finished, Select the Close button. This will return you to the SO Acknowledgement Settings window. Close this window to return to the Sales Order window. Next, we'll work with Stock Reservations. Click on Sales Order Line Item 1 and select the Stock Action button. The Stock Lines for Item Number 1 window opens. In the top panel labeled Selected Stock Lines, you will see any stock currently reserved to this sales order. In the panel below labeled Stock on Hand, you will see all existing stock for this part number. From this window, you are able to delete a stock reservation 
if for example the stock cannot be located to be shipped. This will delete only the reservation. The previously reserved stock line will appear in inventory with the quantity returning to an available status. Click on the reserved line in the selected stock lines panel and select the delete action button. A confirmation window opens, asking if you want to delete this record. Select OK. The line will be removed from the selected stock lines panel. To reallocate stock, double click on a stock line in the stock on hand panel. The reserve stock for stock line window opens displaying the number of units available and needed, and the number of units to be reserved and shipped. Select OK. You will be returned to the Stock Lines for Item window, where you will now see the stock you have reserved displayed in the selected Stock Lines area. Use your mouse or the Escape key on your keyboard to close the Stock Lines for Item window. You will be returned to the Sales Order window, where you will see your newly reserved stock appearing in the Reservations and Shipments panel. Now we will generate a PICK ticket. PICK tickets can be used to notify inventory and shipping staff that goods need to be pulled from the shelves and packed for shipping. The pick ticket will contain all information necessary for shipping, including the shipping address, the sales order number, and the shipping method specified in the sales order header. To generate a pick ticket, select the Global Action button. The Global Options window opens. Select Print Pick Ticket. The Pick Ticket Settings window opens. As we did with the acknowledgement, we are going to generate a preview of the Pick Ticket before we send it to the printer. Select the Edit Action button and verify that the Destination field is set to Preview. The document field is set to STDSO pick ticket and the copies field is set to 1. You may also here define a printer for the print output in a warehouse or shipping area, for example. The radio buttons in the include items area determine what parts and stock lines are printed on the pick ticket. The only invoice ready option will show sales order line items where stock is reserved and the stock lines reserved to those items. The all available option will display all sales order line items where there is a quantity available in stock and all of the stock lines that are available. Where there is stock allocated to this sales order, those stock lines will display as being pre-selected, and all other available stock will also be displayed. The All option will show all sales order line items, whether they are in stock or not, and all available stock lines for those items. Again, with this option, any stock already allocated to the line item will be marked as pre-selected. In this example, we will set the Invoice Items option to Only Invoice Ready. Select OK and then select Print. A Print Preview window opens containing the PICK ticket. When you have finished previewing the pick ticket, you may print it. Select Printer from the drop-down menu 
at the top left of the preview window and click the printer icon. When finished, select the close button. This will return you to the pick ticket settings window. Close this window to return to the sales order window. To recap what we have learned in this session, we generated a sales order acknowledgement. We worked with stock reservations and we printed a pick ticket. You may now proceed to Module 6, Segment 1, Creating an Invoice.